One thing I've made videos on before were Christian organizations infiltrating the DPRK, acting as spies, attempting to subvert the government. And it's been long been held that the United States doesn't do that. Like they have nothing to do with the United States. The DPRK is just merely harassing Christian missionaries for no reason, just because they apparently hate religion because they have some crazy idea of not letting religion have sway in the government. Well, it has now been revealed by an investigation by the Interceptor that the CIA, particularly the United States and the Pentagon, has been using a Christian NGO to carry out activities, more specifically, spying on the country. Humanitarian International Services Group, which was co-created by K. Hiramine. Now, he recently received an award um, Gowan, from President Bush for his work showing that private charities can step up to help in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. What it has now been revealed is that this Christian evangelical organization has been carrying out spy work for the United States government. The secret Pentagon program, which dates back to December 2004, continued well into the Obama presidency. It was the brainchild of senior Defense Department intelligence official of the, of the Bush administration, Lieutenant General William Jerry Boykin. Boykin is an evangelical Christian who ran into criticism in 2003 for his statements about Islam. Settled on the ruse of the NGO as he was seeking new and unorthodox ways to penetrate North Korea. Before it was finally dismantled in 2013, Hiramine's organization received millions in funding from the Pentagon through a complex web of organizations designed to mask the origin of the cash, according to one of the former military officials familiar with the program. The espionage effort was one of the most secretive programs that the Pentagon had, called an unacknowledged and waived Special Access Program, or SAP. The designation meant that the Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld was required only to brief the chair and ranking members of both the Appropriations and Armed Services Committees who were not allowed to take notes or bring in staffers. They would send shipments of cold weather clothing because the winters can be very harsh in the DPRK. They would send these clothes with a hidden compartment full of Bibles. They would also utilize Chinese smugglers, other aid workers, and Christian missionaries to sneak materials in and around the DPRK for the purposes of carrying out spying activities. Because American intelligence has so few assets inside North Korea, much of Hiramine's task was to find transportation routes to move military equipment and potentially clandestine operatives in and around the country. The Pentagon would eventually move sensors and small radio beacons through Hiramine's transportation network, according to another former military official. Much of what Hiramine was doing was what the military refers to operational preparation of the environment, or OPE, a category that encompasses clandestine intelligence gathering and pre-positioning equipment inside a country for future conflicts. In other words, the organization was laying down preparation for sabotage and invasion work. Now, here's how the complex funding scheme for this whole operation was carried out. The Pentagon funneled money to the private fund called New Millennium Trust, which was run by retired Army Colonel Thomas Lujan. Next, according to tax filings, New Millennium Trust would donate money to Working Partners Foundation, which was run by a prominent Colorado car dealer named Yale King starting in October 2004. King was also a dear friend of Boykin. King earned $252,000 as the director of the Working Partners Foundation in 2006. The Pentagon money passed through King's foundation, which made donations to Hero Mines organization. In total, New Millennium Trust gave Working Partners Foundation $11.9 million between 2005 and 2014. Working Partners Foundation, in turn, passed $6.5 million to the HISG between 2005 and 2012, according to tax filings. One of the former military officials estimated the Pentagon has provided at least $15 million to the organization over the course of the program through these revenue streams. 
This is something myself and other pro DPRK people have been saying for some time, that Christian aid organizations have been sending people into the country to carry out subversion efforts, one of those being Bibles. Essentially, they send the Bible and say, this is what God really, really wants, and God would hate Kim. In other words, to try to destabilize the government in favor of a Christian theocracy, one that no doubt would be run by the United States government. Now, we've been saying for some time that this has been going on, but it's been dismissed and claimed it to be paranoia, to be just persecution against Christians. And yet, here we now see with definitive proof that this has been going on and that our suspicions all this time have been well justified. I would really like to see people genuinely try to help the DPRK to overcome the disadvantages it suffers as a result of sanctions and preventing trading from taking place. Unfortunately, these so-called altruistic Christian organizations are usually nothing more than a front for destabilization efforts. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, then head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can go to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media.